Thank you. It would be easy for me to stand up here for the next few minutes and talk about Paul Simon's consummate skill as a songwriter and musician, but this seems to be neither the time nor place. <laughs> After all, we all know of his fruitful and successful collaboration with Art Garfunkel, which unfortunately ended in an acrimonious split. <laughs> we know about his tenure with Sony Records, which unfortunately ended in an acrimonious <laughs> split. Mm. Acrimonious split. Acrimonious split. Ah. <clears throat> However, I have had a very strong relationship with Paul for over 25 years, which is ending tonight. I remember one night, many years ago, Paul called me. It was in the evening, and he said, Steve, I'm so excited. I've just finished a new song, and I just have to tell somebody. And I said, oh, great. What's the title? And he said, 47 Ways to Leave Your Lover. And I said, Paul, what if it were 50? You know, 50 ways to leave your lover. And, and there was a long pause. And he said, go on. And I said, well, you know, 50 has a nice ring to it, and 47 sounds a little awkward. And he said, but, you know, I've got 47. I can't think of any more. And I said, make a new plan, Stan. <laughs> and he said, 48. I said, don't need to be coy, Roy. Drop off the key, Lee. He said, OK, 50, great. Hey, thanks. And I'm sorry if I interrupted anything. I said, don't worry. I was just here cooking a chicken. And he said, oh, really? How are you preparing it? And I said, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And now look at us. <laughs> 